Now, just being three episodes in, I have the right to give my first impression. I have the right to call out garbage. And of course, I'm talking about the trash that needs to be taken out dingy. But first, I need to explain what a dingy is and what Chainsaw Man is for those who don't know. Chainsaw Man is about a poor teenage boy who desires a normal life but is forced to work for the Yakuza, which is like a Japanese game, to pay off his debt or they'll kill him. He works by slaying demons with the help of his best friend, the adorable demon puppy, Pochita. This action adventure horror shonen is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Tatsuki Fujimoto. He's known for his works of Fire Punch. So around the time last year in 2021, there was anime like Jujutsu Kaisen and Tokyo Avengers blowing off on the internet. You know, it was already animated. So when I heard about Chainsaw Man, it wasn't even animated yet. It was still a manga, but it was just as hyped and loved by the fans that loved the shows that was already animated. It was even one of the highest selling manga volumes in 2021. So I kept my eyes on it. I didn't want to spoil any manga chapters. I didn't want to spoil anything. I waited for the animation, which just came out this year, this fall, October, 2022. It was animated by Mappa's, <coughs> Mappa Studios. You're either going to get some stunning visuals or some janky ass anime scenes. Well, good news for Chainsaw Man, the visuals are absolutely gorgeous when the anime dropped so did the jaws of the fans they overhyped this episode and it's partly due to the animation or maybe just the anticipation of chainsaw man himself a little warning for those who haven't seen the first three episodes because i'm going to be going into a little bit of detail about the show but mainly about the character development so far of denji what i like about him what i don't like about him how i feel about him and then in general how i feel about the whole show only seeing the first three episodes i made this video right now because episode three particularly made me sick and it needs to be called out and that's what i'm going to be doing so we're going to start with episode one just like with most anime shows we have the main character in an unfortunate situation you know he wants to live a normal life but he's broke he even had to sell his freaking balls for god's sake he lives with his demon dog pochita which helps him slay his demons. That's his job. That's how he pays off his debt. That's pretty much how he lives. We see how he's in debt with the Yakuza, how he met his little doggy friend, and it's all sweet and it's all really cool. And up to this point, Denji was a relatable, pretty likable, normal anime character. I would want to follow his journey. He's poor and he dreams about having friends, having good food to eat, having a girlfriend to sleep with, just regular teenage garbage but by the end of the episode he is set up by the yakuza gang and he ends up in a process dying fighting these demons denji mixed with his dog becomes chainsaw man and thanks to the mappa visuals he starts slaying these demons and it of course looks gorgeous in the process of this it all ends and he's tired and bloody and crazy and stuff like that and he meets this girl this young woman who works with this company i guess that slays demons and she tells him i'm gonna kill you or you work with me. He sees her to be really beautiful. He's already sipping for her. She offers some food to eat, a warm place to stay. So even in this unfortunate circumstance, he's in a nice place. He's gonna get fed. He's gonna get a beautiful woman to see every day, I guess. All he has to do is slay demons, which is what he's been doing in a way. So easy choice for Denji, right? Episode two comes along and he is literally in love with this character. I think her name is Mikama and he will literally bark if she says bark i mean he is that much of a simp for her but he's still likable he's living his i guess fantasy he's taking full advantage of his living conditions he's almost freeloading he's having the luxury of living a normal life being around pretty women annoying his co-workers this sasuke clone <gasps> overall he has a funky vibe to him which is kind of i wouldn't really say different i mean a lot of characters nowadays have this laid-back vibe i understand he's freeloading i understand he sees his girls and he has like this He's almost like he oblivious to his surroundings in a way because he's so, it's like he gotta train this guy. Like he doesn't, he doesn't function in society, right? So he sees these girls and he's always about touching boobs. That's what he wants to do. He's a touchy, touchy guy. That's what he thinks about. He doesn't touch, but he, he thinks about it a lot, okay? At this point, we're just trying to see where the show goes. And at the end of the episode, this new character comes in. Her name is Power. She's also, I believe, a human demon. <sighs> By episode three, Denji is just funky. I mean, everything this dude says out of his mouth has to do with either boobs or that's sick. He doesn't care about nothing else. His only purpose for working or for saving somebody is to touch because he was promised these things. You know how a main character inserts their goal right here before they do something, insert their catchphrase? 
that's Denji's catchphrase. That's Denji's goal. And it's really disappointing because I thought there was going to be more to this character than just that. But I guess that's what we're going to get. That's what it's looking like. I had to pause the episode mid-fight. In episode 3, it was all about saving Power's cat. She tricked Denji into luring him in, helping her out because she promised that he would be able to touch her chest or whatever. So he, of course, in an exciting, exhilarating way, went ahead and did it because he knows he's going to get the reward. So he goes, he gets tricked, he gets knocked upside the head, and then she sacrifices him to get her cat back to a demon bat. The demon bat doesn't want to eat him because he tastes disgusting because he's a demon. So the demon bat ends up eating power, and she's really sad because she's thinking about her cat that she lost, but then she doesn't care. Because when she gets eaten and the bat flies away, then she grabs onto the bat's leg while it's flying. And all he can say, all he can say, all his reason for this, reason for saving power, is because he wants his bat. That was the lamest, most cringiest, most disgusting thing I heard from the main character. This dude is not likable. This dude is trash. I paused the episode because I wasn't fixing to give Chainsaw Man any more credit for the animation that was about to happen. But of course, the next day, I finished it and as predicted, the animation was superb. Denji pulled the yank damn thing out, went Chainsaw Mode, and it was really cool. It looks like good animation can save anything nowadays. Now, what I like about the show, it's atmospheric, it's moody, the animation is superb, as I mentioned, the art style is very grungy, the concept of the show looks promising, the designs of the demons are really good, the characters have good chemistry with each other, even though they're not really that unique in a way, because we got a Sasuke clone, for God's sake. And I will continue watching this show, I will continue reading the manga when I get a chance to, but that doesn't mean I'm going to give it praise. This anime, to me, is a parody of shonen, where in the case of a situation where the protagonist inserts their goal through a catchphrase, Denji's goal is literally boobs. That's, that's it. I get that that's the point, but Denji is literally a mutt. He needs to be gone in the trash. So far, it's a perverted Jujutsu Kaisen, praised by his glorified Mappa animation. I'm disappointed that this anime has the same old tropes. Chainsaw Man is leading a cult of the weaves to start barking when they see parts of the female anatomy. But that's just my mad take. What's yours? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you like me, please hit that like button. I upload tips and reviews and creator interviews about art, any comics, manga, anime. If that's your sort of thing, please hit that subscribe button. Gotta give a shout out to my Patreon supporter, Sonya. Thank you so much for your contribution to my brand. If any of y'all want to shout out Check out my $1 tier on patreon.com slash madmoneyart. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And you can also support me by buying some of my merch. All of that is in the description below. This is Eat Money telling you to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay mad.